Welcome to your 15 minute at home upper body workout. This no equipment fitness routine will help you build a stronger chest, back, arms, and even abs, all from the comfort of your home. I'm so excited to share with you some of my favorite body weight upper body strength exercises. If you're new to my YouTube channel, welcome. My name is Caroline Jordan, and I'm a certified health and fitness coach here to teach you how to use movement as medicine. On my channel, you'll find a variety of video routines helping you to stay fit and stay positive no matter what challenges you face. So if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that little notification bell so we stay connected when I upload feel-good fitness content that's just for you. To do this routine, you may want a pillow or a pad to cushion your knees because some of the exercises involve some knee bending. So grab that now if you haven't done so already. And as always, check with your doctor or physical therapist before starting this or any exercise program. Honor your body, move mindfully, and stop if you feel any pain. So if you already hit like on this video and grabbed that pillow for your knees, have it handy, and our first exercise will be a chest to floor push-up with a Superman reach. We'll have 10 seconds in between exercises and 50 seconds to perform each move with our most strong self. So 10 seconds to start, meet me in a plank position. We're going to start in plank, You'll lower your chest to the floor, reach your arms forward, and then come back up to your push-up. In three, two, and one. Chest down, reach out, hands down, push up. Down, reach, down, up. Now if you're newer to your fitness journey, and this full plank push-up is a little bit too much for you today, you can always do this exercise on your knees like this. So you go knees, chest to floor, reach down and up. So please make this exercise meet you where you're at today so that you can be stronger tomorrow. Either way you go, you have about 13 seconds left. Keep your abs tight and your butt squeezed because that's the secret to success. Stay with it. Woo, this is a good exercise to start with, isn't it? And rest. Next exercise, we've got kneeling tricep pulses. Abs braced, hinge at your hips, elbows by your sides. When you're ready, extend the arms straight, pulse in and out. Now it's a little bend. What you wanna think about doing is keeping your shoulders away from your ears, squeezing through those tricep muscles to feel the contraction. Really keep the abs tight so your spine is straight and your neck is long. As tempting as it is to look at the TV, keep looking down at your mat so your form is amazing. Squeeze those triceps, we're working a lot of triceps today. Keep breathing, thinking positive. Good job. You can always use your cushion for your knees here. Beautiful, and there's our belt. So check it out. If you wanted to, cushion under the knees. Meet me in a kneeling position, brace with your abs, squeeze your butt. Arms in goal post. We go down, up, overhead, and lower, and lift. So it's an internal, external, reach, and down. Internal rotation, external rotation, up, Lower, good. You might feel some shoulder crunchies. That happens. Sometimes we spend way too much time on the computer or the iPhone. So doing this can help balance out those daily activities that might be giving you a little bit of pain. Stay with it. See if you can keep squeezing your butt and keep your abs super tight. All right, I love this move. It's great for scapular health. Good, I'm so happy you're here. We're doing this together. In four seconds, we move on to one of the hardest moves of this video. It's a tricep push-up. So, I do this on my knees because it's tough. More power to if you wanna do it on your toes. Elbows in by your sides, abs tight. You're gonna lower your chest down and lift your chest up. So we go down and up. 
Now, if you have any wrist sensitivity, you can always use fists for wrists like so, or you can choose to have hand weights underneath your hands to keep your wrist in a neutral position. So please feel free to make adjustments. Again, it's not about doing what I'm doing, it's about doing what you need to be doing to get stronger today. Breathe, abs tight, chest open, tricep push-ups, bringing those elbows in by your sides, hug your torso with the arms. Whoo, triceps are on fire. Keep going with me, you can do it. You can do hard things. Rest, on the mat, you extend your arms long, we're going into a Superman row. So abs tight, push your hip bones into the floor, reach your arms up, now squeeze elbows into your sides and extend. You wanna look down here so the neck is long and I want you to squeeze your butt, bringing your knees off the floor while keeping your toes down. This exercise is incredible for posture. It is one of the best things you can do to keep your chest open and your upper back active. So if you do this exercise on a regular basis, you'll be standing up taller and feeling more fit. Stay with it, knees up off the floor, toes down, butt squeezed. You should scoop your abs in. You shouldn't feel this too much in your low back. It is working, but in a good way. All right, rest. Next, we've got our kneeling chest expansion. So we're gonna kneel, and you're bringing your arms back like so. So press, press. Again, bonus, you want to squeeze your butt and squeeze your abs. Stand up, or stand up or kneel up, super tall. And I want you to press the arms back so you really feel that upper back working. Now, supersetting this, with the Superman reach, should really be getting your upper body to talk to you right now. Good, 23 seconds, open that chest. You can of course do this with thumbs back also. So play around and see which variation feels right for you right now. Good, abs tight, spine long. Smile, strong, oh yes. Good, hang in there, you're doing great. I'm proud of you. Whew. And diamond push-ups, another really, really hard one. Your hands go to diamond position. We're gonna bring it down and up. I do this kneeling, because I'm just not there yet. All right, but I still am here for myself. Whoo, diamond push-ups. Bringing your heart to your hands and back up. Down and up. Now again, it's a 50 second interval, so you can go slow and do three diamond push-ups in that time period. Or you can be speed demon and do 50 push-ups in 50 seconds. Wow, I would love to see that. If you do that, leave me a comment below, send me a video clip. Squeeze your butt, you've got 20 seconds left. Keep that chest moving down and up, feeling the arms, feeling the whole body work. Whoo, this is really hard. 15 minutes arms, folks. We're doing it together. Keep that diamond push-up, keep breathing. And hopefully that hear that bell. There it is. Okay, T pulses. So we bring our arms in a T, thumbs face the ceiling, toes down, knees up, abs tight, butt squeezed, lift up and pulse. Here's another great one for posture. You should be feeling the backs of those shoulder blades oh, squeeze together. Keep your shoulders away from your ears, squeeze your bottom, lift up, and breathe. It's so important when you're working hard to keep encouraging yourself to continue. This is not easy work, but it's worth it because your health and strength is the foundation to your success. So keep cheering on for yourself. Don't give up when it gets hard. We're in this together. Oh yes. Whew. We're feeling it. I love it. Back T pulses. Breathe. Neck is long. Spine is straight. All right, rest. Kneeling shadow box. So bring yourself on your knees. Abs are tight, squeeze your butt. Ready when you are, we're just gonna punch straight forward. Now, of course you can do the standing, totally cool. 
You could also do the seated in a chair, but I want you to really think strong arms. Your heart rate will get up here. It's a little bit of a cardio move. <laughs> so stay with it. Come on. You got it. Punch, 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 punch. <sighs> Breathe. I hope you're having your game face on for this one. It's tough. Stay with it. 20 seconds left. You can do it. I'm right here with you. We do this exercise a lot in my chair cardio workouts. If you haven't tried those yet, definitely check them out. They're so fun. I love doing them. We do them live together sometimes too. That's even better. Woo! Arms on fire. Good job. And rest. Okay, my heart rate's up. Now we've got our guitar heroes. So you're going to bring your arms out. And we guitar hero, guitar hero. It's fun. Have, have a good time with me. Guitar, hero, guitar, hero. Oh, yes. I don't know why it's called guitar hero, but I feel like when someone's strumming a guitar, they do that move. Good. And it's also, gosh, this just feels so good on my shoulders. This routine is amazing for shoulder mobility. The more we spend time over that keyboard, the tighter we get. So it's so important to strengthen and mobilize things so we don't get shorter as we get older. We feel better and better with every year. Good. Stay with it. We're almost there. Keep breathing. Abs are tight. Butt is squeezed. You've got eight seconds. Your heart rate should still be up. Woo! This is hard. Two seconds and rest. Okay. We've got our arm, arms in and out and overhead. So squeeze in, you're going out, up, in, together. So we go out, reach, together. Again, you can do this seated on a chair, standing, fine, whatever works for you. Whatever works for you, my friend. Keep breathing, abs tight, butt squeezed, good. I always think, you know, you don't have to spend hours in the gym to see results. A little bit goes a long way. 15 minutes makes a huge difference. Imagine if you did this 15 minute routine at least once a week, you would see significant strength benefits in your upper body. You'd get better at it over time. The human body is amazing. It adapts to the stimulus that you give it. So let's give it something good today. Breathe. Nice job. You're doing great. Reach overhead. Good. Squeeze your abs. Rest. Okay, meet me on your bottom. We're doing a tricep dip with a kick. So reach yourself up into a tabletop position, bend your elbows three times, and then tap your knee. Three, two, one, tap. Three, two, one, tap. It's like a break dancing move. Just getting you ready to be a break dancer. <laughs> Good, keep it in the arms. So we go three, two, and one, Tap, three, two, one, tap. Now, if the tap's a little too much for you today, keep just the tricep dip. 50 seconds is a long time for this exercise. So, you know, do what you can and be kind to yourself for it. Good, three, two, one, and tap. Three, whoo, yeah, this is a good one. All right, rest. Next, we've got a prayer v-sit pulse. So bring your hands together, shoulders down and back, lean back, feel your abs. Good. Pulse your hands in. Now, I thought I'd include some bonus ab work because, you know, I just like when the whole body works. So we're getting a lot of core in the next three exercises together because who doesn't want little extra abs? If you want to, you can bring your legs to boat pose. If you have tight hip flexors, you can extend your legs straight on the floor. So many ways to work. Just make it ma match where you're at. Breathe. Shoulders down and back. You're doing great. Keep it up. You've got 16 seconds left. Whatever variation, you want to take that boat pose, let's do it. Stay with me. Whew. I love it. I'm feeling so good today. I love working abs as much as we can. Rest. Next, we've got a boxer Russian twist. So, similar to our punching earlier, hands in boxing position, lean back, shoulders down and back, dig your heels into the floor, punch side to side. Really work the core. 
Now, I have a ponytail that wants to hit me in the face right now, so I highly recommend if you have long hair to put it in a bun before you do this video. When you bring your elbows in by your sides, pull it in with your back. Lean back, brace with your abs, twist. You can do it. Come on, breathe. Woo! Punch, punch. Go for it. This is it. We have one more exercise after this, and then we celebrate how strong you are. Good, punch and twist. Arms, abs, everything's on fire. A little bit more. Give me as much energy as possible. You've got it. Woo! Rest, plank. Here we go. Final exercise. We've got a 50 second plank. Hands or forearms, you choose. Ready, set, and go. Plank position, squeeze your butt. Now, if you wanna get real fancy with it, you can lower to your forearms and lift to your hands. Lower, lower, lift, lift. If that's too much for you today, hold the plank. You know, you don't have to do what everyone else is doing. You have to do what you need to do to get better and stronger. So do what that is today. Keep breathing, squeeze your butt. Don't forget to choose a positive thought. 18 seconds, I am sweating. Shoulders are burning, abs are burning, everything is burning. Eight seconds, and I feel amazing. Okay, we're almost there. Woo! Activity completed. That's it, rest. Oh my gosh. You, my friend, are a rock star for that workout. I am so proud of you for completing that 15 minute upper body strength routine. I wanna hear from you. Leave me a comment below and let me know how you and your upper body feel. And if you liked this video, share it with a friend or subscribe to the channel for more. And if you'd like to fuel future movement medicine for the planet and more video content for us to enjoy together, all the channel donation links are included in the description box below this video. Your donations make a huge difference in our success together in this community. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you again soon at carolinejordanfitness.com.